Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Our youth matter. Black 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 lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Thank you all for coming out today. We're here uh, to stand up for justice and demand that the White Bear Lake Police Department and Ramsey County Police Department and Maplewood Police Department released the tapes of the raid that happened on March 24th, last Wednesday, where, De where young Desmond, an 11-year-old black child, was choked out. We're demanding that those uh, recordings of that raid be released immediately. Uh, so we're here with the family to stand with them in solidarity and to, to demand justice. Uh, we have a couple speakers today. We're going to start out with uh, Makima Levy Powers. How y'all doing out here? Good. First of all, I'm glad it's Friday yes. because our community has been through so much this week with the start of the trial and all the stress and all the trauma. And while we are waiting to see the outcome of that trial, in the midst of that, we have young people like Desmond Knight, who is being subjected to police brutality. The very thing that we're out here fighting for, knowing that our community has already been through a lot, we see law enforcement continuing to use their power, their privilege, and their authority to assault black people, and particularly vulnerable black youth. So I'm here to stand in solidarity with Desmond and his family and Black Lives Matter Minnesota and all of you who are out here to let the White Bear Lake uh, Sheriff's Department, Police Department know that we are not going to tolerate abuse at the hands of our young people. We are not going to tolerate you all continuing to raid black people's homes and claim that you are using your authority under the law is unacceptable. We should not feel like we're enslaved inside of our own homes and our own communities. And if you're there to protect and serve, then why do you think it's okay to put your hands on a young black child? Nobody would come into any of these deputies' homes and be allowed to choke out their little white kids. So we're not gonna stand for that in our community. Period. We want the names of the deputy who engaged in an act of violence against Desmond to be released. We want body camera footage to be released. We want a public apology from the White Bear Lake government officials as well as the law enforcement officials responsible for harming Desmond. They need to meet with the family along with Black Lives Matter Minnesota and they need to be held accountable. And Desmond, we want you and your family to know you are not alone. We stand with you, we send good energy to you, we send love to you, we send power to you. And we ask that you continue to stand strong, lean on your family, and lean on your community. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Give her another round of applause. No doubt. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. The George Floyd trial has shown us how black youth in, in, in the Twin Cities continue to be traumatized by law enforcement in America and in the city of Saint, in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Seeing these kids testify, having to watch a nine-year-old girl watch George Floyd get murdered is traumatizing and she has to revisit it again. The other children who were underage who were there, traumatizing and have to witness it again. All the youth who are watching the trial are being traumatized by this event. And little Desmond, who's 11 years old, was actually grabbed by the neck by a police officer and strangled. That's traumatizing and that will live with him for the rest of his life. Little Diamond Reynolds, Lil Day Day, was traumatized when she seen Philando Castile killed right in front of her eyes. So our children continue to be traumatized by law enforcement right. and our youth deserve justice. That's right. That's right. Black lives matter. matter. Black lives matter. matter. Black lives matter. matter. Black lives matter. matter. Demetrius Hill was killed by the St. Paul Police Department 
about 20 years ago and his family still has not received justice. His mother is out here right now today and she's still demanding and she's still fighting for justice. Our youth deserve justice and so does Miss Hill. She's gonna speak to us today about that. Please give us a round, please give her a round of applause. All right. Because I feel like this. He is a child. And when they start putting their hands on your child, yeah. that just shows they tied up, set you up. See, police start with harassment. And when it comes down to it, that's what they've done to my son Demetrius. They start victimizing him, they target him. What they plan was to depopulate the kids. So when they set them up, they start trapping them in corners and then threatening them. See, when they put their hands on that child, they was trying to put fear in him. That's right. And see, by him fighting for his life because you know God sees, knowing this is time for you to voice your voice and holler out pain and no more. See, this child is a God of child, it's a God that belongs to the Lord. And see, it's a time for us to stand up for our rights. Right. Like George Floyd, when he got his knee, that man put his hands on his uh, knee on his neck, showing to us, we can't just sit and be silent. That's right. Because 24 years ago, that what happened to my son, we couldn't speak on it because we were threatened. Mm -hmm. See, they can't threaten this child. That's right. That's he's right. Strong enough because he survived. That's right. That's right. Something's going to happen, and that, that police officer will pay that price. That's right. right. So we're right. fighting for justice. That's right. Yes. No justice. No, no peace. peace. No justice. No, no peace. peace. I'm a part of family supporting families, and we're going to be out here fighting for justice. Yes. My name is Ann Hill. Yes, Mikhail. Give Ms. Hill another round of applause. Black lives matter. Black mothers matter. Black mothers matter. Black mothers matter. No doubt. So we got Raisha Knight. She's the mother of Desmond Knight. This is Desmond. He was the one who was choked by the White Bear Lake Police Department last Wednesday. We're demanding that the White Bear Lake Police Department release the footage. He has been traumatized by this incident. His family has been traumatized by this incident and it's costing them socially and economically and they deserve justice. We're gonna give Raisha a round of applause. That's right. I want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting me and Desmond today. Hello. I want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting me and Desmond today. It's a lot. When I say this is a lot, it's a lot. My child still having a hard time sleeping at night. That's right. I don't see. I don't know what to do about the situation now, but I'm hoping to get answers. I really need answers. I have sent emails. I have filed complaints. I have did everything that I was supposed to do to get answers, and I still haven't got answers. I just, y'all, it's enough is enough. Yes. Like seriously, how much more can we take this abuse? My child didn't deserve. When I say, I can't imagine how he feels. I really can't. And I asked him over and over again. How do I ask him how he feels? So he can tell me he's okay, and for me to know that he's not. So I'm just asking for White Bear Lake to release their footage and. For Hennepin County to release their footage, just prove it. If it's, if it's nothing negligent in y'all area, just prove it. That's right. Release, release the video. That's right. That's right. There's no negligence. That's right. Y'all, that's right. right. That's right. 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 That's all I ask for someone to reach out. No one has reached out. No one. No, I'm, yeah, this is, this is a long fight. I know this is gonna be a long fight. And I'm gonna fight it to the end. I'm gonna fight it to the end. And I'm gonna give my baby the help he need. Cause it's gonna take some time. It's really gonna take some time to get him together. 
Well, White Bear Lake, could you please answer to me? That's all right. Please, that's all I ask. Just give me an answer. Release it, release it to the public. I'm okay with that. You can release it. I just want to see it for myself. That's please. right. Yes. Thank you all for coming out. Yep. I really, once again, appreciate every single last one of y'all and all the support. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. Yep. No justice, no peace. 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 So we got Tucson Morrison. He's a BLM activist. He's gonna come up and say a few words about how children are being traumatized by law enforcement in the state of Minnesota. I wanna thank the organizers that put this on and for organizing this today. The, the thing that you're seeing right now in this community is that 10 years ago, this may not have happened. This may never have happened. You wouldn't have gotten two, let alone four, let alone six people to show up for this. And it's not to put that on y'all or anything like that, but it's to say that this community is evolving and this community is growing and expanding and educating themselves that when enough is enough, we're gonna show up. And sitting beside docile or, or, or passively, it's not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. And folks are gonna continue to show up. And for me, as a black man, I remember walking home from school to go pick up video games with friends and getting pulled over by the cops. And they put their hands on the guns, and they do all these fear tactics, yep. and they do the same old, same old that they just did today down at the Hennepin County Plaza. Yep. And it's the same mentality, it's the same mindset, it's the same colonial mindset going into our community thinking that they can police and push us around with impunity. And when you hear the story of Desmond Knight, the whole point is, is that this is going to stick with him forever. I guarantee you he don't want to be here right now. Right. Me as an 11 year old black boy, I don't, I don't want to be at a press conference talking about how somebody choked me out. Right. I don't want to experience getting choked out. That's right. Speaking as a black man and once have, having been a black boy, I can tell you, I didn't like all that attention. I just wanted to live my life. I just wanted to live a life the same as anybody else. That's right. Yet, you have police officers treating young black people like animals. You saw it happen with Amina McCaskill. You saw it happen with Desmond Knight. You saw it happen with, even with black folks in adulthood, with George Floyd, Thurman Blevins, uh, Philando Castile, Terrence Franklin. And people didn't show up sometimes because it wasn't filmed. But when we say enough is enough, it's not, it ain't even gotta be filmed. That's right. You need to start believing black families, believing black women, believing mm -hmm. black men, believing black children That's right. that their experience is being absolutely traumatized. Yeah. And this trauma is going to live with them forever. So when we show up, what, we're, what you're doing right now is you're saying you're making a commitment that you're going to see this through to the end. So the next time you see Desmond's name online, you need to show up. Continue to show up. Because the solidarity with the family is what folks need. And for folks like Matilda and Marilyn, whose kids have been killed uh, over a decade ago, and folks didn't start showing up until now, the healing process is absolutely through the roof. Because when you have other people with you saying, I got your back, it means the world to them. It's invaluable. It's absolutely invaluable. So keep showing up, keep showing out. And, and as I say, this trauma does not stop. This is gonna stick with Desmond in, if, for the rest of his life. Because I can tell you everything down to the detail what those cops said to us when they pulled us over in the fifth grade. And folks don't seem to, they don't seem to understand that that's part of the game. Nope. And the one thing, I'll finish on this, the one thing I learned recently in this past week that'll get you through fear. Do you know the only emotion that can overcome fear? It's not love. Mm. It's anger. That's right. And when I tell you that I'm pissed off, I 100% mean that. Say I am that absolutely angry and outraged. Say that, people. But I am not losing control of myself. That's right. Because black folks gotta take the higher road every single damn time. Every time. time. 
Every time. I gotta check my voice, I gotta check my body, I gotta check my yeah. eyes. Every so time. they don't say, well, I fear for my life. That's right. How, how White Bear Lake say that? They fear for their lives choking out an 11-year-old black boy. You can't use that excuse. So what you gonna say? You better release the tapes, yeah. terminate the officer, yeah. and get some clarity on what happened. If you're gonna be a bastion of the community, then you better start being it. And I am absolutely pissed off and outraged for good reason, and I'm tired of being quiet, I'm tired of being polite, and I'm tired of being Minnesota nice. Yep. Those days are done. done. Enough is enough. Yep. When I say black lives matter, I mean all black lives, especially Desmond Knight. Black lives matter. matter. 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 All power to the people. All, all right. right. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. So we're out here to stand up so this doesn't continue to happen to our youth. And if we don't stand up today as black people and, and just people in general, then this is going to continue to happen to our youth. So we got Demaya. She's going to come. And, we're going to hear from the youth about this incident. Right. Give her a round of applause. I'm really sorry for you that you're going through this. Um, it makes me really emotional because yesterday I was at another protest where other youths around the age was rushed, handled, punched, you know, abused, and it's not okay. It's not, it's just so unfair because it's like we're never too young to experience trauma. Yeah. But then white little kids in school are too young to learn about racism and it's just yep, not it's fair bullshit. we don't we don't get a childhood we don't get a proper childhood we don't get to be innocent we're exposed to this yep. so young at a young age and it's just so frustrating and i know that we're going to keep fighting keep fighting keep fighting keep fighting and slowly there's going to be progress eventually but what i'm going to say right now is that we need to have more spaces for black youth get more black therapists and get more ways for black youth get their mental health together because unfortunately right now that's what we need we need that support we need um people in those fields helping us out having those spaces because we keep going through this trauma and we go to like the hospitals and patient and places like that they don't know how to diagnose us they don't know what we have because they don't understand and it's so unfortunate for a lot of black youth who have mental illness mental disorders that can relate to a lot of the racism and stuff that's going on but they have white therapists that don't exactly. understand, don't exactly. know what to tell them. Right. Yep. And so right. that's all I want to say is I'm really sorry that this is happening. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. And it's very unfortunate. But right now we should also be fighting for more healing spaces for our black youth. Yeah. 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 Man, give her another round of applause. Black youth matter. 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 So we have to we have to continue to fight so they don't have to have to experience this trauma that our black youth have been experiencing in America for the past 400 years. Uh, we got Brandon is gonna come up and speak to us real quickly and just say a couple words Brandon. real quick. Right, Brandon Lee. Yes, Brandon. Uh, I wasn't expected to speak today, but uh, I'm here. I'm always going to be here for the families because I think that's the biggest part, like Tucson was saying, is these families need our support because like, walking in black skin, I know that at any moment it could be me. That's right. You know, and if it were me, I hope that y'all gonna go crazy for me. That's right. The same way that we need to go crazy for every other family that experiences this trauma. That's right. Um, one thing that I just keep thinking about is, you know, I keep thinking about Tamir Rice. You know, with how young he was, the police officer, when it was called in, first of all, they said it looked like a man in his 20s. Isn't that what he said? Like 20 year old man. Yeah. It's a little boy playing with a toy gun in the park. That's right. Right, and even if he was a 20 year old man, I believe that was an open carry state. So it's just a lot of bullshit, but it goes on to the fact of the color of his skin mm -hmm. is the reason that there's a threat, right? It doesn't matter the age. Black children are not allowed to be children. They are never seen as just children. They are seen as a threat. That's right. They are discriminated against the second they are brought to life. That's right. I mean, you got to look at the hospitals, all of that stuff. I mean, it's 
When we say the whole damn system, the we mean the whole system. damn system. That's right. You know that? and, and all we can do is continue showing up and fighting when, whenever there is any instance, whenever there is any situation such as this. Because if we don't, it could be my 11-year-old son. It could be me. It could be it could be my, my wife giving birth to my child. She could be killed because the doctors neglect her. It, it's so many levels to this. It comes in different angles. And that's why our fight needs to as well. We need to battle the systemic oppression wherever it shows up, whether it be police, yep. whether it be in the schools, yep. whether it be wherever. We need to show up. We need to stand together. We need to show solidarity. Because at the end of the day, it could be any of us. So all of us need to fight. White allies, thank you for showing up. Y'all need to put your bodies on the line when you need to. That's right. For example, like today at the uh, the plaza, yep. when, when they're going down there and, and creating that police line and creating a scene for peaceful protesters, I was thinking about going down there, but I was like, man, this shit gets heated. What happens if I get thrown into a police car? That's right. What happens if I go to jail? That's right. What happens if they take me to Beltrami County Jail? That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that fear, that trauma that has been instilled on me because of the color of my skin is what we need to work actively and tirelessly to, to combat, to ensure that future generations so that 11-year-old boys don't have to go through the same thing that Desmond goes through. And we're going to be here for you, for the family. We will support you in any way that we can. I appreciate you for letting me speak, but let's keep the focus where it needs to be. And justice for all black lives, not the ones that they kill, right. not the ones that we never hear about, but every black body on this planet right. needs to deserve justice whenever injustice is had. That is correct. That's right. That's Brandon. Thank you. Yes. So no justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Thank you. Yes. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. matter. No doubt. Um, I'd like to thank you got um have one more speaker and then I think we're just gonna walk up to the police department and demand some justice real quick. Yeah. What you guys think about that? Sounds good. Oh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make that move. Uh, we're we got a candidate, man, that's running for governor. And he's only 23 years old. But he's the youth. And the youth need to stand up. We need, so we're gonna hear from him. We also, when we get over by the police department, we got a mayoral candidate that's gonna say something. He got his family with him too. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no peace. Hey, I just wanna say, uh, yo, I just wanna let you know, bro, that you're not alone. Just remember that and uh, just, you know, uh, it's gonna get hard, man. You're gonna keep dreaming about it, you're gonna keep thinking about it, but just remember that you're not alone, and there's people out here fighting for, uh, fight for you in incidents like this. And people people that's going through the same thing as you, just remember that there's people out here that, well, we all out here for you today, but there's gonna be people out here tomorrow for you, people out here the next day, and people out here that's gonna keep fighting for you, man. So just keep holding your head up. Even if you think about it when you lay down, going to sleep, man, just remember that I told you, me, myself, a man that's running for governor with this man's help, that we gon' we gonna make sure, you know what I'm saying, you get justice, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just remember that. We here for you, brother. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. So we're gonna get ready to march and then uh we'll hear from a couple more speakers and, and then we'll get you guys home safe. Thank you for coming out. <laughs>
matters. Black lives matters. Black lives matters. Black lives matters. When black youth don't represent, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. When black lives don't represent, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Justin Knight, say his name. 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 Justin Knight.
are sick and tired. They need to be fired. Are sick and tired. They need to be fired. Are sick and tired. They need to be fired. Are sick and tired. They need to be fired. Escucha, escucha, estamos en la lucha. 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 No KKK, no racist USA. No cops, no KKK, 
Yes. We're fighting for them right now. We need to hear their voices right now. Because they know what's up. And the same way they know what's up, it's it's not right that they know what's up. Yeah. But their innocence has been stolen at such such a young age. And Desmond, I just want to thank you for even being here with us right now. You are so brave for taking the streets with us right now after something so traumatizing happened to you. Um, let's just give it up for Desmond. And give him a, a round of applause. That's good. Thank you. His time is right now. Desmond's time is right now. Brandon's time is right now. The youth, her time is right now. Her time is right now. You know what I'm saying? He said, right now. Talk to me right. All right? Talk to the youth right today. Because their time is right now. Coming up next, we got Rowan. Did I say it right? She's going to say a few words. Give her a big round of applause.
All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you for having me. Thank you to Traherne, the organizers, the medics, the marshals, yes. everybody. We just appreciate everybody coming out. For young Desmond, Ms. Ranisha, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, thank you for having the courage to even speak out and say something, you know, because there's a lot of people that which is being fear of retaliation, whether it be from the police or from other people. So we appreciate the courage that y'all have. Um, there's a lot of things going on. Like people mentioned the trial earlier. There's things in Minneapolis, there's things in St. Paul, White Bear Lake. Um, just starting with the police. We understand that they believe they have a job to do and that's fine, but our problem comes when it starts to affect us in the wrong way. You know, and then especially as a parent, I couldn't imagine the thought process you're going through with Ranisha, especially knowing that our main priority is to protect our children and not being able to do that in that moment, not having no control over it, not being able to do nothing about it, I cannot imagine where that puts your mind at. And that's the place where we have to prevent families in the future from having to go to. And that starts with accountability. Through transparency, even right now, we're demanding that the videotapes be released. That shouldn't have to be a demand. That should be something that's readily available, accessible to the public, that's right. because we're the ones that's paying for it. Right. So even when we go back to Minneapolis, whether it's Minneapolis against St. Paul or White Bear Lake, that's one of the things that we're going to be fighting for, is just releasing those tapes, allowing the public to access them to bring true officer accountability. They're saying that they're doing their jobs, there's nothing that they're doing wrong, that's fine, and we can have a peek at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there should be no argument with that. Right. So again, I thank everybody for coming out, and I just want to tell you, Mr. Desmond, Again, we appreciate the courage that you have, and you're a young king. There ain't nothing that can hold you down. Tell that. Tell that. You are traumatized, police, whatever. Just know that with God, you can get through anything, young man. We shut this down. Who shut this down? We shut this down. See, this is just a small group of people can do a lot, right? It's just a, it's just a small group of us, but we're determined to get justice for our youth because our youth matter. Our youth are right now. You dig? So we're gonna march right back to the uh, park, and uh, we're gonna still keep doing more and more actions for Desmond and for uh, all people who are us experiencing police terror in the United States. No justice, no peace. 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 No racist, no peace. No justice, no peace. No racist, police. No justice, no peace. No racist, 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 no peace. Our street, 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 no peace, no peace, no racist, no peace, no racist, no peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. Police. Our street. Our street. Our street. Our street. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, we just we take a break. When we get to the um, stop sign, take a break. Yeah. 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 
we are. So we tell them. So we tell them. We are the people. We are the people. The motherfucking people. The motherfucking people. Say we are the people. We are the people. The motherfucking people. The motherfucking people. When black lives are under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! Black lives are under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! When black youth are under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! When black youth are under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! What do we do? Stand up, fight back! If Desmond don't get it, shut it down! 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 I said if Desmond don't Who shut this down? We shut this down. 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 And I know that it was 12 surrounding us the whole time thinking they were doing something, but I'm gonna ask, who keeps us safe? And you say we keep us safe. Okay? So who keeps us safe? We keep us safe. 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 We taking the high road, even even down to Arredondo, how does he have to code switch all the time just to speak to all these white officers that are killing black people? That's right. Uh, even though he is a cop. For me, I don't have kids, but when I do, it's going to be damn hard to keep me off the school bus saying, Man. hey, I heard somebody talking some jive to my daughter Man, or my son or my non-binary or my trans kid, and we're going to have to have a conversation. Hi, Mr. Morrison. Period. I'll pull up That's anytime. Right. So for Desmond's mother, that's got to be hard to sleep at night as well, knowing that those those folks are out there that put their hands on your son. It would take a nation of millions to hold some of y'all back. And it's probably taking a nation of millions and some to hold her back. And I don't know how she does it. I don't know how you do it without going up to White Bear and being like, all right, we got to be, we're going to, I, I got to, you got to see me. We, we got some problems. We got to talk. And it shouldn't be beyond us pulling up to White Bear. That's right. We'll with go with you. Desmond's mother's grace. Yes. <laughs> oh, we got you. We got you. We will pull up. We will pull up. But, we will pull up. But, but, the, but the thing is, is that you really, 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 when we talk about what happened to Desmond, and we talk about those folks that had to testify, this trauma resonates outward to the rest of the community. 
and it has undoubtedly resonated to Desmond's mother. So really, y'all should give it up for Desmond's mother yes. for being out here. Yeah. 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 Desmond, we're going to continue to fight for all stolen lives throughout the United States. Uh, before we go out, we're going to go out. Uh, give a big round of applause to Tucson Morrison, Juan, Arnella, musical justice in the building, the youth, Brandon, Sports Real proud to have uh, Northside Riders is out here. And it's just a community, man, and we're going to keep coming together and standing up for our people and fighting against injustice. Uh, it's our duty to fight for our freedom. It's our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. All right, one more time and let's say it loud. It's our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. 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 Ooh, ooh, Where did you hear? Where did you hear the clear on the plaza? I just got the message. Uh, uh,
run with that fucking thing. That is an idea. Each other's enemies, like, 